You just told I just asked you what why your last was obsessed with you. You said you put voodoo on them. Why you put voodoo on them? Cause what? you ain't want them to go nowhere, but she ain't put it on me. But so you don't give a about losing me. Point blank period. Now send it sound. to anybody. Well, you send it to crazy. anybody. On my baby sitting to Bro, somebody. I don't even out. believe in it. So let me get this right. You upset because she didn't put voodoo on you. And you're logical, still acting normal, not crazy about her. That that sounds like a good problem to have. <laughs> I wouldn't want no voodoo put on me. I'm just saying. So no, I can't go not, to the no, Sexy Red concert? I'm not going, no. Why well, can't go see Big Sexy? Why would I let you go to a Sexy Red concert? I'm right here. So what? Let's go to see Sexy Red before and for. Bro, you, you know I you love, don't even know. bro, you, don't you know I love Sexy Red. Know, but you barely know her music. You love her so what? person. So you what? Go. Okay, but you're she, my She be going you're crazy. Okay, you she be want, turned up on Instagram. You know, she be turned up, bro. I, I'm not trying to hear no, it either. She be going. get it sexy. She don't want to be sad. Don't say. Yeah, that's yeah. all you know, right? Yeah. That's all you know, right? Ugh. Yeah. Like, no, you're not going to no sexy red concert. You're whoop, weird. Whoop, whoop. That's you're weird. Do you want to be here or something? No, I just. No, come on, man. I'm right here. What you need to go to a sexy red concert? Cause you, do you want me to make you some music? You ain't big sexy. You little sexy. Come Ooh, on now. Little. So you just called me little. Come oh, little. no, no, no. No, you taking it wrong. That's I'm why we always argue. Me to no, I'm not, like, bro. You well, always doing it, bro. See, that's why I'm just here, like, man. Okay, with this toxic, saying, without, what? with this toxicness, like, it's I just can't do it. I can't do it. Calm down, bro. Calm down. Calm down, bro. I don't want to live in a world where a grown ass man can't go and see a sexy red concert without his girl tripping, dog. It's sexy red, bro. I think I speak for all men. We would love to go to a sexy red concert. Man, let me stop that bullshit, man. Ain't nobody trying to see no sexy red. Hey, bro. He just trying to go see what the mother women talking about because you know they're going to have the ratchets out there, bro. Damn, my cord stuck under my chair. But you know they're going to have the ratchets out there. Let's be real. He trying to go and get it wet. <laughs> you can keep your gun right there on the dresser. It's fine. Um, I don't have a gun. You forgot it at home? I want to take a picture with it. What? No, no, like, I don't have one at all. I don't own a gun at all. Well, that's so tragic. You don't own a, wait, what? Wait, well, hold on, wait, so what do you do? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a trader. I teach people how to make money trading. I'm actually doing a, um, a webinar on Thursday, you know, on Thursday, October 24th, we tell people to trade. That's not street at all. You sound extremely predictable and boring. So you don't plan on putting a pole to my pum pum when no. I know. So you're not gonna choke me up and beat on me when I, when I get disrespectful? So you're not gonna pop out when I'm at the club with my girls and drag me out and embarrass me? Are you that plain? Why would you want me to do that? You know what? The men that get it, get it. I should've known when you wouldn't have no other baby mother. So that means that no other girl what? even wants you. You can't even put me in a car and go over 100 miles per hour. But you could lose your life that way. That's the exciting part. Okay, you know what? Just get out. Cause you, 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 you're not him. What? Say dog. As much as I want to be like, this doesn't happen in real life, it really does, man. And what pisses me off the most about it is It'll be a female who not from the hood, bro. She not from the trenches at all. And she the one who gets most mentally stimulated from this. It's the crazy thing to me. Like, they got females who really from the project, who really grew up rough like that. And that type of behavior will really turn them off. But it'd be the girl who mom and dad was intentional about their life. Planned to have her. She went to good schools all her life. But she may got a little hood cousins here and there. She the one that want that. That's aggravating right there, bro. <laughs> That's funny. My daddy sent me a text message this morning talking about, man, why do I keep hearing disturbing things about you? Let's call him now and see what he heard about me. Call Roosevelt on speaker. Calling Roosevelt. Mobile on speaker. I'm going to call him again because you texted me with that bullshit this morning. Let's see. I'm going to keep calling him. What what this this your son? What you talking about, man? Oh, who number is this? This my number. This my other phone. Oh, man, what what you been doing? I ain't been doing nothing. What are you talking about? I'm beat your ass, man. What I do? Man, man, acting like P Diddy and shit, nigga. <laughs> what are you talking <laughs> about? P Diddy. You trying to go to freak house? You lying here shaking your booty for niggas for money? Who who told you that? Who, who you think the only person who, 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 who could know that? Krishan. No. 
Who? Are you close? Cheyenne? Uh, and you, ding, 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 ding. Mm-mm-mm. Shake yeah. your booty for $50 for somebody else so you don't have to come over there and kick you in your ass. Mm-mm-mm. I'm finna have to get on Cheyenne ass now. Man, you better quit that shit, man. Let me call you back. Do you understand me? Let me let me call you back. Dang, whoa. Well, them niggas drunk. No, nah, I'm about to call Hub right now. I'm about to call you back. Hold up, I ain't through. Okay. And how you gonna let Ken sit and claim that girl? What you talking about? Claim Zoe. I didn't I didn't know she was gonna do that. You file your taxes late, huh? Yep. God damn. Say, bro, some men just don't play that type of stuff about their sons, bro. Listen, don't be out here acting like the diddler. <laughs> what in the world is going on, bro? Sound like you got an old school pops, man. People in the comments were saying, say, bro, we got to do a pops reveal. We got to see who the man is on the other end of that phone, man. So the next clip I'm about to show y'all is another clip of him. I just know whenever them two get around each other, it's never a dull moment, bro. That's all I'm going to see. Is that what you want to do? You just go lick ass and have a whole eating session, man. But don't kick booty, man. That can kill you, man. I'm telling you, man. Like, a little bit of fecal matter. A little bit of fecal matter. Get in your mouth. It'll kill you, man. It's toxic. Don't eat booty, man. Don't do that shit, man. What the fuck around farting that little shit in your mouth, man? That'll kill you, bro. Don't do that, man. Don't eat no more booty, bro. I did it one time. Don't ever eat it again. <laughs> one time, I could kill you. Motherfucker drink and drive one time, all time, and die. I'll kill somebody. That's, that's what you're playing with your life, man. If you're going to in these booty, you're playing with your life, man. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm not bad, but I'm very serious, man. I'm very serious. Don't be eating no goddamn booty, man. That shit can man. I'm telling you, man. I worked at the jail. I worked in prison. Niggas would eat shit. Y'all know what's crazy, though? I don't remember all of that being a thing until really Kevin Gates appeared on the scene. He went on the Breakfast Club talking about how he do that. And I promise you, bro, before that, I just don't remember that being a thing, though. Like, people was not openly talking about that. And I think a lot of people just was followers. And they started to do it just because they had someone in the mainstream saying that they do it. And it took off like a wildfire. It's crazy. Y'all, I'm currently going back and forth with my best friend about what I wore on her birthday. May I remind you, she didn't say shit. She didn't say shit the day of the party. I'm going to just show y'all what I wore. This is what I wore. This is me. This is what I wore. I mean, she said put that shit on. So that's what the fuck I did. She said put that shit on. So that's what I did. And this is what I wore, period. Now, I'm not going to put on here what she wore. I thought she looked cute. Simple. I thought she looked cute. I thought she did what needed to be done. Like, I don't know. Like, she's mad at me because of what I wore on her birthday. She texted me basically saying, like, she don't think that it was right. I should have dressed down a little more. How everybody was, like, recording me while we was at the bars, walking up to me, saying I was pretty. And, yes, people was asking me if it was my birthday. But I wasn't even, like... What was the fuck was I supposed to do? Like, hey man, that's why I told y'all a lot of women's friendships are built on a house of cards, man. I've seen women fall out for less. Like, this is a falling out because the birthday girl is upset that one of the girls who attended her function outdressed her. I, if that's not a weak ass relationship, I don't know what is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I don't know how else to tell y'all. Mm -hmm. All right, so today TikTok, I'm gonna be slapping the shit out of my dad. <laughs> you ready? Let this nigga do anything like that. He's gonna find himself laying in the fucking street, <laughs> unconscious. Hey, my pops ain't played them type of games, bro. I wouldn't have his YouTube channel if I told my pops that. He wouldn't have even gave me a chance to react. He would have got up that fast. I know this man, bro. I didn't play with him, bro. One time he thought I said F something, and I was like, man, that funky. You know, like funky. I said that, and I got hit in my mouth, bro. He thought I said that. He said it sound like it sound too much like the real thing. I couldn't say shoot, dang, none of that kind of stuff, man. So you know if I threatened to hit him, it was going down. <laughs>
three, twin. So boom, we up talking out. Cause we finna leave, so everybody putting their book bags and stuff. You feel me? I got on my book bag. I say, twin, I ain't finna argue with you. If you if you wanna hit with me, come hit. I say, if you hit me, I'ma beat you, I'm beat you, I'm beat you bad. I'm trying not to cuss. But I say, if you come hit, I'ma beat you bad. I said, if you took me, that's what I said, that's exactly what I said. I said, if you took me, I'ma beat you bad. And I walked off, twin. That's on game. The, the, the bell ring as I'm walking off, twin. The bell ring. So the bell ring, I'm walking, I'm walking out the class, twin. I'm walking out of class with a smile on my face. Tell me why my homeboy already recording. Like he knows something finna happen. I might have get a push behind me, twin. I look back. I instantly take on my book bag. Doom, go in his shit. I mean, that what he instantly do, he instantly exact slam me. Mind you, he still got on his book bag. He fine with his book bag. He fucked up. He fucked up. Why is you still fine with your book bag? That's extra weight. Then you try to slam me, though. But y'all, I came in like this. He tried to slam me. Do insto, grab him. Toss his ass. In the, in, on the thing. On the, um, in the hallway, twin. In the hallway. Say, bro, I feel like I got the identical story to that. I'm in the seventh grade, bro. I got out of band class, dog. I used to play the trombone and the trumpet. But anyway, I was playing the trombone, and me and this dude named Chauncey, God bless the dead, he dead now. Uh, me and him had words with each other. So as we walking out, I said something slick to him, you know, because I'm thinking the whole time he not like that. So I got my book bag on, man. I'm walking out the door. I just hear, well, felt up against my head, bro. I know this nigga ain't just hit me. I ain't have time to even take my book bag off. I quickly turn around and I fall and I'm hit, bing, bing. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm throwing them bitches. Man, I done laid up there and bust open my knuckle and everything. I'm talking about the skin flap hanging off my shit. I'm hitting this boy, boom, hitting him, boom. Coach Floyd come pick me up and bear hug me like this and get me up off that boy while he hitting me still. I'm getting hit and I'm getting held like this with a bear hug. Nigga, hit me all in my face. <laughs> Hey man, boy, I wanted to kill that boy, bro. Me and him got cool after that, man. But it, that's how this shit happened. I'll take this girl out on the first day, right? I take mm -hmm. her to Moxie's, nice chill little spot. So I'm waiting, and this was a long time ago, y'all. I'm waiting, chilling, and she's coming in with a laptop, right? She has papers with her. I'm like, well, what's going on? So she Weird. sits down. I'm like, hey, what's up with the laptop and papers? She's like, oh, is it okay if I bring my homework? I'm like, your homework? She's like, yeah, I'm in nursing school and, you know, it's due tonight and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, you know, I'm upset, but I'm like, okay, cool, cool. But, you know, the whole time she's not focused on the date. She's focused on her homework. She's not creating. Yeah, there's no need to give a drawn out explanation of what I would have did, bro. That's disrespectful. The date would have been over right then and there. You're not finna get no free meal out of me. You focusing on nursing, homework, and all that kind of stuff. You could have just been like, nah, I ain't got time to go on a date. Nah, I'm straight. Boy, that's disrespectful. How do you feel about approaching girls? Do you feel like you could find a girl that would choose you off the of approach? When you know your assets, it's easy to use. Your, your assets is bait. So building yourself as a man, that's how you get assets. So let me use three examples. Body. If you know that you work out and you got a nice body, well, that's your asset. If you're familiar with your assets, then you know how to bait that. How do you bait that? If you have a nice body, go to gym where bitches like bodies. Go to the beach where you can show it. Where you you see what I'm saying? Damn. Go to Home Depot and shit and, and wear like a tank top or some shit. See? If it's money, then how do you flex your money? Go to places where you can show it. Go to places where they got valet and you can use your car and and, and show the Bentley or show the beds. Boom. If your bait is your mind, then then go to like poetry places and shit like that where you can showcase your shit. Go to improv where you can use your talking points. Those are the assets. When you know what they are, you know how to bait them. And talking as fool, you just use your environment. And the best, your best friend is hello, how are you doing? That's the that's the best pickup shit. Because once you say that, you're gonna tell how interested she is from there. If she's not that interested, that doesn't mean that you go harder. That means fall the fuck back. Stop talking to women to where you want to like get them or not. Just introduce yourself to women and see where it goes. You're looking at this shit like a pass or fail fucking test. And it's just really you just talking to a motherfucker. If you see an old lady, you gonna say hi to her. So why you just can't say hi to the bad bitch? Hey, bro, tools that rule, baby. It is what it is. Every man got some type of asset. He just got to go around women who values that asset. It's that simple. I can't even say it no better than he just said. You got a nice car, go to places where people going to see that nice car. Where it doesn't stand out like you're trying to be seen, right? You got a nice body, go to places where women can appreciate a nice body. It makes a whole lot of sense if you ask me, man. It ain't rocket science. So people out here posting corn on TikTok? Huh? So they got this trend going on called the You Single Trend. So I went down that rabbit hole. What I seen? It started off with funny videos. 
And then all I see is people posting corn. I'm not even supposed to be talking about this. I'm not even going to lie. But it's called the Are You Single Back Challenge. This ain't Twitter. This is not Twitter. People will post a normal video to themselves, right? Normal video. And then, like in a faint little shadow, you will see them getting bit. A lot of adult activities and those see-through videos. A lot. Usually, you'll see this on other apps and other websites, not on TikTok. And if you know, you know, you remember that Hope Core incident. You remember how Hope Core had TikTok. Y'all can still see some of that. Search Hope Core. Search. I'm telling you. What does he say? Hope Crazy Core? thing is, I thought it was some dating game. Like, yo, you single? Look. All right. You search bar. And all I see. All I see. So this what we doing now? This what we doing? Hey, bro, the internet, a mother, the internet forever. They got women up there and dudes out there posting videos of them getting freaky and stuff on TikTok. It's crazy. Like, you can just barely see it, but it's visible, right? It's crazy. Like, no morals, no self-respect. Like, you're posting that on the internet and for free for the most part because these are small channels. They ain't monetized and stuff like that. They doing it for free, essentially. They do anything for clout. Your name and age? Yes, I'm Shay. I'm 27, and I don't like the sagging. Um, I don't like that I can see your eyes when I'm talking to you. Um, but most importantly, I don't like the sagging, and I don't like that see? I can't talk with you eye to eye. Okay. Uh, I, you have first said that you could see my eyes, so you mean that you can't see my eyes? I'm Did I say that? At least she said yeah. couldn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm was, sorry. I'm sorry that I can't. I was confused. I was confused. Yeah, I was confused I'm sorry. Too, um, I guess what I'm saying is that I want to see your eyes when we're commun, I, like when I we're talking face no to problem. face. Like, you... I, um, yeah. <laughs> you gonna pull them up too? <laughs> no problem. That's how I should. All right. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's already popped, but I think the uh, the ladies here probably agree with me. Some of them, no, so you're probably right. you are prepped to speak with one of them. Okay, all right, cool. What the hell just happened? I'm confused as hell. Like, I really couldn't see his face. Like, does that mean that they all found him very attractive? I'm assuming that's what it means. Hey, <clears throat> I don't even know what to say about this, bro. Like, cause what just? Ha I'm slow, y'all. Y'all gotta bear with me. Ain't no fucking way. Grab it, Black. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, man. I ain't no way. I'm so scared. I can't give a I don't believe that real. That's yeah, a real that, deal. <laughs> that TikTok. You finna win, boy. You put that on TikTok. Unbeliever in Mississippi. No, man. That TikTok. Man. Ah, oh, there the deal, kiss. TikTok, dog. 50, 50, hey, close door, Black. I don't play with deals. That bitch get in here, get the kicking. I'm kicking back. <laughs> I guess this could count as a segment of positive vibes since I hadn't done one in over probably damn near a year. It's been a while. A good interaction. Nice, clean, wholesome, fun. <laughs> in the country. <laughs> hey, man, that was funny, man. That boy said, you better hop in his car and start the kicking. I'm going to kick back. <laughs>